If you're new here, welcome to the channel. I'm Keenan Grace, and this episode is brought to you by the Moomoo Investing app. If you want to support the channel and support yourself in getting some free stocks by starting your investor journey today, hit the link pinned to the top comment, and let's start the next year off right, family. Now, we got a whole lot to talk about, and the first thing that I wanted to show you really quickly is over on the live stream where we trade actually live, so I can show you how to enter a trade and how to exit a trade and how to do it appropriately. We just hit a home run, so I want to give a major salute and shout out to the family and we just turned $1,000 into $2,000. And you can join. The link is pinned to the top comment. And it's $10. I see you over there. The classes, the technical classes, the live trades, all of it over there, family, for the best bang for your buck on the market. Now, what I want you to see is one of the main things. And remember, before I even switch off of this, I want you to notice how it says a $400 put option. We made money on the way down. As the market was falling today, we were able to turn $1,000 into $2,000. By learning how to make money in a bear market and i want you to be able to do that too now what led to this kind of volatility it was this the cpi data which you heard about time and time again today right we're going to put a little different spin on it so you can see how this is affecting real life people and if you appreciate that put a one in the chat and hit that like button for your boy family so i know what time it is now take a look they expected the inflation numbers to be 7.3 meaning the things that you buy today they expected it to be 7.3% more expensive than it was last year, family. But it turns out that it was a little lower than that at 7.1. So then the market in the pre-market, at least before the stock market was open, it liked that a lot and it sent the stocks flying up. But sometimes what goes up comes back down. You just got to be able to read the charts appropriately so you can see how to make money there. And then that's what we were able to do. Now, I made 100% on this one, but there are many people who stayed in the trade even longer than me after I took profits and made 700% on the same exact trade. So again, I want to just lead with that and give you a major salute. But let's get to it. Now, in the previous month, they had the inflation data actually at 7.7. .7, so we dropped more than half of a percent. This is going to signal to Jerome Powell, to the rest of the Fed, that, you know what, the interest rate hikes that they're doing is actually bringing inflation down. This is what they're going to think. And we're going to actually hear about that tomorrow. And, you know, I got your back on that. So stay tuned. But let's keep it going. Let's check this out. I want you to understand what this really means. The Federal Reserve, they expect to raise the interest rates about 50 basis points to about, let's call it 4.25 and 4.5%. This is that bank rate in the background where the banks use to trade with each other. Now, if the banks are getting these kind of rates, then that means that you are going to get a significantly higher rate whenever you take a loan using a bank. Now, the reason I say that is to say this. Let's look at what it's actually doing in the real world and let's watch a video together just to show you how it's actually impacting people in certain areas. Now, let's check this out. In quarter two, 2022, it says that the interest rates went up more than 1% on the credit cards. So check it out. In the previous quarter, it was at 15. And now in the third quarter, family, it was basically 16. So this is telling us that it's getting more expensive to take out any kind of loan or do any kind of financing. And it's affecting people in the real world. And I'm going to show you exactly what I mean by that. So take a look at this. I want you to turn your volume up so we can watch this together. Now, you might say, nah, people wouldn't do that. But you got to understand, family, when people feel in need to do certain things, they will actually go and things happen. Let's just see a real world consequence, which is actually, I'm sure, an unintended consequence of things becoming more expensive. But let's just hear them say it themselves, right? So the title of this video is Walmart may raise prices and close stores due to theft. But listen to what she says the customers are even saying to her as they're walking outside of the doors. Let's listen. Let me make sure this is turned up so you can hear it, all right? So turn your volume up, too, and pay attention theft to this. during the holidays, but many customers we've been speaking to here in Santa Clarita all day, they told us they really can't afford for prices to get any higher. In fact, during the holidays, they usually have very tight budgets, but... People have very tight budgets. They can't afford for things to get higher in price. Why is she even here? Because she's asking people, what she's really trying to find out is, why are people stealing from Walmart? I'm not saying go steal from Walmart. I'm not saying it's a good thing. I'm not saying that it's justified, but it is an unintended consequence of things that are happening due to many different factors. Inflation, rate hikes, all of the different things, family. And people are actually stealing behind some of this. There's more to it, but this is a huge reason. And let's keep watching some of this, right? I want you to just see how crazy it's getting. 
You ready? And he says that many prosecutors, they're just not being tough enough on those who steal merchandise and they're losing a lot of money. McMillan says that they have ample security measures in place and they hope that their partnership with various law enforcement agencies will help deter crime. California Highway Patrol, um, they have a specialized retail crime task force and those officers have increased their presence at shopping locations. I think I even seen a guy walking out with a whole cart stores since they're on. taking a this. huge financial hit with shoplifting crimes like retail theft we heard on a surveillance camera family people still want what they want they still are going to get what they're going to get but since the inflation rate is through the roof and then also using credit cards which a lot of americans were leaning on that's getting harder too people are still going to get what they want to get not everybody but it's happening and walmart in particular and target and stores like that they feeling it right so remember, a lot of these index funds, a lot of these big ETFs, they have a lot of Walmart in it. They have a lot of Target in it. And this stuff is eating into their profits. Now, I want you to see this, though, because it's not all gloom and doom. Check this out. Since the interest rates are going up, the high yield savings accounts are going up, too. And I just transferred my emergency fund money over to Discover. I'm not saying you got to use Discover. Ally Bank is pretty much the same rates. But now it's at 3%. And to give you a comparison... That means if you put in $10,000, they're going to give you $300 over the year just for having your money sitting in there. Now you say, wow, that's not really a lot, blah, blah, blah. Let's be clear. In an emergency fund, this is a fund that I'm using. I don't want to invest my emergency fund. What if I need it? I don't want to put it in crypto. I don't want to put it in stocks. I don't want to put it in nothing. What? It's an emergency fund. I invest after my emergency fund is fully funded. So then I want my money to just be sitting there for me, right? Now, if I was to put that same amount of money in my Bank of America account, they don't have a 3% interest rate they have a 0.01 percent interest rate which means i wouldn't get 300 dollars. i would get one dollar for the same exact service so then i'm telling you this and i'm not sponsored by discover i'm just telling you how i'm rocking out because there are so many things going on for example vanguard one of the biggest asset managers in the world the second largest one in fact who manages trillions of dollars and when you look at these index funds and these etfs and then they say Yo, like for example, VTI, Vanguard's total stock market ETF, or you see many different Vanguard related kind of ETFs or funds, you say, hmm, who would have an understanding as to when a recession was coming? And oftentimes it's the people who own everything. And Vanguard is one of the biggest owners of everything, right? And they're saying they see a recession in 2023, right? Now, they're saying there's one silver lining to investors. And if you ask me, the silver lining is, Many of the institutions are the ones who own all of the stocks and us, the retail investors, hey, we don't own as much as them. So after they lose all of their money, then it gives us a chance to be able to load up and you know what? Get paid too and get some of that, get a piece of the pie. You understand? So now let's check this. There's another person who's saying that they see a recession coming. And who is that? It's Yellen. And she's basically the secretary of the treasury family. So this is telling us she has a big responsibility in the economy. And with this being said, she's saying she sees inflation getting lower by the end of 2023. However, through a risk of a recession. And remember, recessions mean that the stocks, everything's coming down. The economy is coming down. The housing market is probably coming down too, all at once. When it rains, it pours. But if you have cash, cash is king in this kind of case. But also, like I said before, in the beginning of this video, because I like to tie it all together in a nice bow. If you learn how to make money on the way down, then you won't just begin smoke the whole time by buying a dip and buying a dip and buying a dip and then the dip keep on dipping. You can actually learn to say, you know what? I'm going to learn how to make some money on the way down and do it responsibly, not just be gambling your money away. And now let's keep it going. Check this out. I told you about the Walmart thing and everything going on with that, but I did want to also say we got to look at the spy because what happened was kind of weird, right? In the pre-market, if you looked at the market and you looked at the charts, you'll see that it went up to 414. And then the whole rest of the day, it was basically coming down. It came all the way down to $3.99. But like I was telling you, if you learn how to make money here, then you could have rolled the wave down like one of the Discord members, actually a few of them, who was up even 700% on this same put option that I was up 100%, but then I let it go to take profit. Remember, never, ever, 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 ever be mad at yourself for taking profits and getting out early, especially on a day when most people are saying, oh man, I lost money, the stock's coming down, and you're making money on the way down. So now look at this, the volume was 123 million, and then the average volume is usually 79. This is telling us the SPY was getting traded very, very, very heavily. So again, like I was saying, I'm, I was a part of that, making some money on it, family. So you know what time it is if you're in the Discord.
Now, check this out. I mentioned this yesterday, and I just wanted to clean it up because I had I had messed up. So, you know, I got to keep it real. I keep it real. We were talking about Apple, right? Now, Apple, the Apple car, they pushed the launch back to about 2026. But one thing that they're trying to do is get it to be under $100,000 so more people can afford it. And that's great. We love to see that. Now, let's get to this. Apple is still on a long-term downtrend, and I like it better at 130. So if it comes down to 130, I'll be willing to go even harder picking it up. But if we do hit these hard recessions that Vanguard and Yellen and everybody else is talking about, these CEOs, then it's telling me that Apple may fall under 130, and then I would just let it just free fall and crash in a recession, right? And I wouldn't buy it under 130 until it bottomed out. But at 130, that's when I'd be willing to pick it up, just based on the technicals and based on how the company is a long-term banger with future prospects in the EV sector. So now, these are the actual 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 forecast because last time i had it wrong but you know i gotta keep it real i keep it raw and you know i always want to give you accurate information they're saying that apple is worth about 144 on a low this is basically where we are now now if i'm dca and i'm buying a company at what it's worth that makes sense but i want to buy a company under what it's worth right so then i could ride the wave back up to what it's worth so at this point in time yes i'm willing to dca aka buy it let's call it every two weeks every week every month or so and just keep putting money into apple so i can own more of the company right however they're saying that in a regular bull market we can see it at 179 and then in an extreme bull market where it's just the stocks is running we can see it at 210 so now family understand me on this this does not mean going buy apple i'm gonna tell you to go and do that but I do want you to understand this, if nothing else. If you can't handle the heat, no, understand this, family. I'm just joking with you. You got to learn how to make money in a bear market, family. They're saying that we're going to get a recession. Oftentimes, the big institutions, they do what I like to call a self-fulfilling prophecy, where they tell you things is going to fall, and they're trying to spook you out, and then they go and buy everything low, and then you pick it up when it's high. So we got to be on the lookout for these things and not listen totally to the mainstream media and playing their games. But I love y'all. I see you in the next one. Hit the moon link, pin to the top comment, and get up on that passive income challenge with us. I see you in the next one. Take care.